Okay, hello guitarists and welcome to Code of Guitar. Um, this is a level one lesson on fretting riffs, playing fretted riffs further up the neck of the guitar. So um, hopefully you can play a little bit by now. Uh, you've had a look at some of our beginner level lessons um, where we were, when we were looking at riffs, we were looking at playing further down the neck uh, in the open position uh, using mainly the first three frets and the open strings as well. A little bit easier, but what we're trying to do now is uh, play in ways that are more like how famous guitarists play, how uh, sort of guitar parts on commercial tracks sound, which generally use um, fretted notes further up the neck. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at just actually using all four fingers. It's a simple exercise, uh, dead effective, R it's really useful this because um, you can either make uh, playing the guitar um, easy or difficult. Um, if you can find a way that's comfortable for you to play and it sounds good, then that is probably the right way for you to play the guitar basically. So um, we're just going to be looking at playing a chromatic exercise where we're just playing um, notes on five, six, seven and eight of the fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth frets um, on all of the strings. Now following on from this there's other lessons looking at scales, um, pentatonic and seven note major and minor scales and there's even a couple of um, free uh, riff lessons as well um, but this is dead useful because if you can get used to this hand position um, you can carry this on for the other um, lessons, scale lessons and also the songs. So just to start with, we're going to play through, see how you get on, and then we'll talk a little bit about how you can make it easier. So literally, um, thumb behind fret 5 roughly, not too far down the back of the neck, don't throttle the neck, and just literally frets 5, 6, 7 and 8 with fingers 1, 2, 3 and 4. So give that a little go, and um, if you want to pause this, that's fine. Now. I'm actually holding down all four fingers there, um, all four notes. Uh, if that's a bit difficult, then that's fine. You can replace like with one finger at a time. That's not a problem to start with. But try not to try not to do that. Try and keep your fingers reasonably close to um, the strings. So we're just going to do that on all of the strings, um, and then play string two. So if you just want to play along with me, string three. Now it's getting a bit of a stretch now. String four. String five. This is probably getting quite difficult by now if this is the first time you've ever tried this. And then string six. This is the biggest stretch. Unfortunately, it doesn't get any harder than this. Okay, so, um, like I said, if it's easier to replace, not only to have one finger uh, fretting at any one time, that's absolutely fine to start with. Um, if you can get all of your fingers down together at once, great. Really good warm up this because there's more effort involved there by holding down all four fingers at once. So it's really good for warming your fingers up, getting fingers working before you play songs. So um, also what we want to try and do is we want to keep our fingers pretty flat here. Now say when you're playing chords, if you can see there, um, my fingers are quite high. I'm using these joins to good effect. Uh, I'm pretty much in the middle of the ends of my fingers. Um, when I'm playing, that's because I don't want to catch the strings underneath. When we're playing riffs, we're just playing one note at a time. So basically, we can afford to be much flatter. So say if I'm playing this note here, for example, fret five, on um, the E string, I'm actually catching all of the other strings. Not a problem though because I only need to play one note at a time so it doesn't matter if I'm catching the other strings. So that makes it easier because you don't need to reach round as far and if it feels more comfortable then it's easier to play and if it's easier to play then you'll make it sound better and you'll be able to play faster more quickly. So keep your fingers dead relaxed, 
a bit flatter than you'd normally be if you're playing open chords. And also, a couple of other things. Um, if you can see here, when I'm actually holding down all four fingers at once, um, these two fingers are actually flatter. My outside fingers are flatter than my middle two. Um, so I'm kind of rolling off a tiny little bit on the side of my first finger there and a tiny little bit on the side up this way, up the, um, towards the high end of the neck with my little finger down a bit more towards the low end of the neck with my first finger and these two fingers two and three in the middle are curled round a bit more that is a typical hand position when you're um, covering one finger for each fret okay so um, try that again see if it's any easier pause this video um, whenever you need to and practice all of this and just on the top string it's easier on the top string because you're not reaching around as much to start that to start there and see how you get on uh, once you've done that um, when you move on to the next string what you're actually doing is you are gradually reaching round a little bit more each time okay um, as you can see I'm just bringing my wrist back in uh, when I'm on string one and reaching right round when I'm on string six. So you definitely have to reach otherwise you just end up being really flat there by the time you get uh, anywhere near string six. Um, or if you start up here, say say if you reverse it and start on string six, if, you, if I keep reaching round that far when I get to string one, that's a real stretch. I don't need to do that. Um, I actually bring my hand position back round again. Because what we want to try and do is we want to try and um, keep our fingers um, using the same fretting position for each string. So I'm fretting a little bit further back round, um, uh, not quite so much on the tip because my fingers are flatter compared to using open chords when I'm playing open chords. Um, and whichever uh, part of my finger it feels comfortable to fret the notes with, I'm going to keep using that for all of the strings as much as possible. So bearing all that in mind, have another little go. Um, dead slowly. Um, next string. Okay, now if this is too fast, because uh, it might be, if this is the first time you've tried these fretted notes, it is a stretch. You can see I'm using my wrist quite a lot there. Um, if this is a bit of a stretch, it's fine. Just, um, or if it's a bit fast as well, pause the video, try it on your own, go really slowly. Okay, um, because it's much better um, to make it sound musical and um, each note sounds nice and clear rather than trying to force it and go really quickly to start with. Remember, it's not a race. Um, you need to go at a comfortable speed to start with. If it feels easy, then it, you're probably nice and relaxed and you'll get a much better sound out of your guitar. Speaking of being relaxed, um, don't push down too hard. If it's a stretch, you might find you're really tense and you're trying to throttle the neck. Don't do that. I can actually play, if you can see here, look, um, I can actually play without even using my thumb on the back of the neck there. I mean, it's a bit awkward. Um, I wouldn't normally do that, but just as an example of how um, little pressure I need to put on the strings um, to, to fret the notes. Because remember, you push down too hard and you start um, bending the string, you make it sound a little bit wonky. So um, stay relaxed, only put the minimum amount of pressure on that you need. Keep your fingers close to the strings and um, have a go at that. Great warm up. Um, once you can play it on fret five, you can move it around. You can start from fret seven, eight, nine, ten, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. It gets a lot harder when we're on the lower strings because as you can see the frets are further apart so you're having to stretch your fingers out a bit more. Um, have a go with the fantastic free drum machine on the website, that'd be really good um, to keep you in time. Uh, but like I said, go slowly to start with and then you can build it up. You know, um, there's no point. Um, that sounds a bit rubbish. I'm going to go a little bit more slowly to start with. 
and then I'll speed it up and it'll sound a little bit smoother at the end. So uh, that's it, simple little exercise. Um, get that under your fingers, have a look at some of the other scale exercises, have a go at some of the songs, level one songs, there's some great riffs, uh, level one blues funk, uh, classic rock, um, metal, it's got a nice um, edgy metal style, Metallica style riff going on there. And um, just have fun with it. Um, so hopefully that lesson was useful and we'll see you here again soon on Coda Guitar.